We are here at Audiotronics on Peter Street Road. Yeah, we, we are. We, we game. I know, it was a terrible joke, but it, it yeah. worked. Okay, so everybody's seen the Wii, everybody's probably played the Wii. There's 80 million of these things worldwide that Nintendo have sold. Great gaming system. They are. Fun for all the family. But, and this was probably the first motion gaming system out there, you know, you had this little Wiimote and a little, it talked to your little sensor bar and you could point on the screen and Things bowl, move around, tennis. bowling, tennis, yeah, great the, game. The problem with this thing though is that it's always been, if you can put that down there. I uh, will, yeah. It's, it's never been the most sensitive of things. <laughs> what do you mean? So, because, you, you know, everybody saw the videos of, of the Wii at the start where people were, you know, doing overhead tennis shots. Yeah, and bowling. And after, you've, <laughs> after you've played it for about five minutes, you figure you can do it by flicking your wrist. Oh, well. you know, it's it's not that accurate. Uh, Nintendo have come out with something called the Wii Motion Plus sensor that sits in the bottom, and it kind of helps a lot of the sensitivity of it. I think I have those. You do a little extension. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that helps. They've got gyroscopes in there that tell you where the thing, or, you know, is pointed and that kind of stuff. Yeah. There's accelerometers in here that show you how fast you're doing it. You know. Accelerometers. Mm -hmm. Boy, it's a big word for you. Hey, I read it in the dictionary. Uh, so, but you know, even though this thing's been out for four years, 2006 it came out. Wow, there are new years. things on the horizon. Better than this. But I these think. are still selling though, aren't they? These are selling like hotcakes. I mean, these are still the number one, you know, hot toy of the moment. Because I remember you couldn't get them back in 96. You People waited and slept in Walmart's parking lot. That's because they didn't sell them to 2006. Oh, <laughs> so they slept there for a couple years. <laughs> oh, well. So, so these are still a hot commodity, but if you've got a Sony PlayStation 3 or a Microsoft Xbox 360, there's new stuff out there. Mm -hmm. Now, I have, I have a PlayStation 3, and it's also a Blu-ray right. movie thing, right? You this is not. This is just... All it is is we. You want to check out the other useless piece of equipment you can buy for your PlayStation? Another useless one? Yeah, because you don't play with yours anyway, right? No, I, I actually don't even go down to the family room. So let's uh, let's check let's out some new it. stuff right let's here on IOTV. We 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 all the way. As promised, we are back with something brand new, David. You always have something new on IOTV. We we'll try if I can afford it. Yeah, <laughs> and he can. I know where he works. Uh, <laughs> what do we got? Motion game. We talked about the Wii briefly. Yeah. And uh, how that kind of started all off. The PlayStation Three has always had motion controlling, but it's always been kind of this thing with yeah. the control. And it's and you got always been, buttons. Mm -hmm. And it's always been kind of clunky, you know. It's it's. But Sony have yeah. uh, come out with something else. This is exciting. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. this is called the Sony PlayStation Move, and it's a motion control motion control gaming system. Okay? All right. So, for a hundred bucks, you get one of these. Got it. Okay. You get a camera. A little camera, Rodney. And you get a Blu-ray disc that's got six or seven sports games. And, so, hundred bucks you can start. Hundred bucks you can start. All I right. bought an additional one, fifty bucks. Game started about forty bucks. Okay. But it, it's basically. A motion gaming system. The camera looks at these colored orbs. Soft orbs? Orbs. That's an English term, right? It's a ball. Okay. Softball. And it looks okay. where they are, and in relation to the camera that you mount underneath your TV, mm -hmm. right here. it knows right. exactly how far away you are. It knows if you're getting closer or further away. There's a whole bunch of accelerometers in here, so it knows how you know, hard you're trying to hit something. And the Wii didn't have the Wii doesn't have that, right? It has some, but on a very basic level. I see. This, this expands. Is much, it. This is much more sensitive than the Wii. You got it. All so right. we loaded up the game that comes with the $99 package. Okay. Okay. And Dietz had about two minutes of practice on archery. Archery, one of my favorite things. Mm -hmm. You did that in England, didn't you? Uh, no, because they didn't have it out on PlayStation back then. Oh, okay. So we're choosing right hand, and you do this basically once you're in the game. We have two motion controllers. Two okay. motion controllers. And you recommend putting the little sleeve, the little handles on things. Yeah, because we cannot afford that $2,300 TV. Yeah, we're at Autotronics and they probably wouldn't, we'd have to buy the TV set. Okay. You would buy a break, broken TV. Okay. So to calibrate it, push it forward. Push it forward. And then press the move button. I hit the move button. Okay. Uh, hit play. I'm going to hit. Can be, you can be the lady. That's good. I can be it's the perfect. lady. It's perfect. Shut up. All right. <laughs> Okay. So, Deke, Deke got a, a little demonstration of this uh, uh, for about two minutes. Uh, right. So, uh, oh, I gotta you gotta do this. calibrate, so you put it by your side. Put it by you your side. And I'm doing this, why? Because then it knows exactly where your arm length is, it knows where your shoulder is, it knows your belt buckle, it can calculate how high you are, how you are in relation to the camera, and it puts you in the whole kind of 3D space. So it knows more about me than it should. <laughs> okay. Yes. Uh, whatever that means, and I have no idea. Now, who's so, this guy? Uh, this is your opponent. This is archery, and it's just like real archery. All except right. You're not outside. You don't have a bow and arrow. Yeah. You I have do. two glowing balls okay. in your hand. And it's going to tell me to start. Uh huh. 
So you grab your arrow. Grab my arrow. You pull it back. Pull it back and aim, shoot. Boom! Look at that. 50 points, folks. You get the arrow, pull it back, right in the center, and go. That's really not in the center, but it's, oh. it's good. Oh, yeah. I've only had two minutes, folks, and look at it. But it's sensitive, David. Oh, oh, that's the one thing you'll notice. If this game was on Wii, which it isn't, uh -huh. but if it was, you'd notice that it, it's much more sensitive on here. And yeah. believe me, your arms get tired. Yeah. <laughs> after using what if I shot an arrow in the air and where it lands? Oh, okay. All right, sorry. That, that was a... Never mind. What am I doing wrong? You didn't grab your arrow. Well, <laughs> I hate when that which, happens. Which would be important for an archer, I would believe. <laughs> but because of the glowing balls on there and they're different colors to right. designate which controller is which, okay? You can connect up to four of these things to your PlayStation. Four? It's all wireless. It's all done with Bluetooth. What right. happens if you take it away? Well, I'm sorry. Well, you, you're you're going to hit me, right? Oh, uh, oops. <clears throat> I didn't. Something wrong here. All right. But basically, this camera is smart enough to see where those balls are. And if you move forward to the camera, those balls get a little bit bigger. So or I can move back. Closer, yeah. you know? So if I, and that actually changes the distance between the targets, right? Yeah. Whoops. But as you can see, just after a few minutes, you can, you can really wow. get the hang of it. Wow. But it's not that easy, David. Well, it... it Let mm. me see you do it. You don't want to see me do it. How, about, right. we try, how about try something different real quick? Okay. Okay. In the interest of time and yep. safety, oh. we put a different game in for Deep One that's probably more to his liking. This only uses one controller. Got the right. survival deep. Survival, all right. Uh -huh. I'm hitting that. Oh, you need to take a picture, so get that in front of the camera. You got a foam hand. Oh, that's good. Okay. <laughs> okay. And, and this one actually, most of the games will only only require one trophy. All uh, right. Sorry, one uh, motion controller. But I just went ahead and bought it. Look how goofy that. See, this one is kind of like a bunch of mini games. You got to cut the hair. Press the trigger, cut the hair. Nah, too short. Nah, it's not good. Why are you having uh, a bald man cut here? Wrong... <laughs> what? This is ridiculous. How's that look? <laughs> not good at all. Uh... Well, I'm too short. I haven't got to the head of it. What do you mean that's too short? Bad hair day. That's not right. Okay, new game. Bash the moles. Come on. Bash come on, them. Come on. But you can see how this is kind of like. <laughs> I guess this could be an educational game, right? Hand-eye yeah. coordination. That's what I'm saying. This would be good for, uh, you know, crazy people like you. Yeah. Now, can you imagine having a bunch of friends around with some popcorn and some say, adult, beverages? Uh, adult beverages. <laughs> and, well, I wasn't going to say adult. It, it's, it would be funny. Okay, this one, you got to cut the hair again. Cut the hair. Well, there's a whole bunch of mini games on this disc. <laughs> oh, you went away. Where'd he go? You ran out of time. But it, oh. it's, it's 40 bucks. 40 bucks. It shows your picture where you are. That's a terrible picture. 40 bucks. This is a great game. That's but a, you know what else? Oh, look. Bring that plane in. I'd sit over here. I think this is much better for me. I think I'm leaving. Rodney, can you see that? Ladies and gentlemen, we showed you the Wii, we showed you the PlayStation Move. Here's something that's super new. It's only been out for less than a week. Here's a good friend of mine, Jonathan Bowling. Jonathan He's come on the show. Yeah. Well, we forced him on the show to talk about it, because he's the only one I know who's got it once. So. We paid him to come on the show. We did? Okay. Yeah. Uh, food. So Give him food. <laughs> okay. So what, what have you got bought, John? This is the Microsoft Connect, right? Yes. Yeah, this is the Microsoft Connect. just came out a few days ago. It's a camera with three microphones. It actually tracks your movements, uh, has your hands, forearms, arms, uh, legs, and feet. So, so what kind you. of controller is it? Uh, there is no controller. Your hands are the controller. Uh, yeah, as Microsoft likes to say, you are the controller. Ooh. That is too cool. It's too futuristic. We, we were doing it a few minutes ago, and, and it's just crazy. Absolutely. You want to show us how it works? Sure. Okay. okay. Well, here we move go. Over here. You move over there, so, uh, and this is everything right here. Right. So once you go through the setup and it recognizes your body, then you can use your hand to navigate, bring your hand around. So we'll come down here, and since we'd already started something earlier, right. we'll just go to continue. And this is a game where you have to plug leaks. Leaks have appeared in the screen there, and so you want to use your hands to try to come around and... Like the old actually, figure in the dike thing. Ex exactly, oh. exactly, just like that. So if you want to give it a try, if oh. you can come over there, maybe it'll pick you up. Oh, there there's two of us now. Yeah, now there's two of us. So how many people two can play this at one time, John? Two people at one time uh, for the games like this, and then you're going to actually have to where when you have more people, like maybe for the sports games and things, wow. but you're going to want to move back just a couple of feet. Right there? Or now I'm... It actually comes up, it'll tell you if you're in the right spot or not. So you use your hands to plug the leaks. The fish come up and they make the leaks. Hi, fish. Use your head to block the leaks. Well, wouldn't your feeding hands. the fish make them not come and break the glass? Yeah, that would make more sense. That would make more sense. But then we wouldn't oh, have sorry. a game. So okay. okay. There's so, a shark. Shark. Oh, and you have a leak over on your side. I do. Okay. So you have to move your hand over. There you go. And it'll come up at different times, and actually, it will take pictures. And then at the end of the at the end of the game, it'll actually show you the pictures of you looking silly with your friends. <laughs> well, this is this is. <clears throat> 
What are you doing? Uh oh. Can you dance and everything? You can, I guess you can dance. Sure, sure, sure. You got a leak on the floor, Dick. You got a leak on the floor? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't, don't, Rodney, you're all right. Okay. So, so this little box that sits under your TV, that recognizes depth and motion. You have to calibrate this somehow, right? You do have to calibrate it. It also has, uh, uh, the microphones actually will do, will actually pick up on your voice. So you can actually command it. You can say like Xbox Connect, and it would take, bring you back to the uh, Connect menu so that you can actually navigate that away so you can use your voice and you can use motion if you wave at it it'll actually recognize you waving so, so how does it work i mean does it work pretty well it, and it does work well you do have to make sure you have the proper lighting if you're lit too much from one side then it will create shadows that's a problem for it it doesn't like shadows but as long as you have even lighting uh, you, you're pretty much good. What about low light? Because we were talking about this earlier on the phone, and, and me and you are kind of like the same. We, we like to play games with, you know, a night light on in the background and just focus everything on the TV. Does right. it work what it pretty well in those situations? It, it doesn't like that. It, it doesn't like low light. And here it'll come up, and you actually see it takes, there's the pictures it took as you're playing the game. So you get to see yourself being silly That's with your friends. Incredible. And you can send those to other people that have the the uh, connect so if you have friends that have it then you can send your pictures back and forth of showing yourself silly but yeah it doesn't like low light okay so ha ha can you get a different game on while we're talking about sure. this oh. um we're going to go up here and see like if we can do the matrix here everybody moving around doing this kind of stuff it's kind yeah. of every, i mean you see if you can bring your hand up and put on leave activity want me to go i mean you don't want me here now there you go what's that mean and if you leave your hand there for a few seconds then it'll actually take you back out of the game so, oh, okay. So how much right. is how much is this job? Yeah, the can connect, I afford it? The, well, uh, the Connect by yourself is one forty nine. If you this already have a three sixty, then you just need to buy the Connect. If you don't have a three sixty, then they do sell it as a bundle. Uh, I believe it's three ninety nine for the camera right. and for the system. Are they are they hard to get? I mean, no new games come they're, out. They're almost like... impossible to get right now. And uh, Microsoft right. originally was going to have a, a target of three million for the th for the fourth quarter this year, but they just upped it to five million. All the pre pre orders are sold out. So um, this will be the Christmas gift this, this year is, if you can get it. If you can get it, this is the Christmas gift this year. So how many games do, does comes with the uh, the setup? There's four games that come with it. Uh, the first one we just saw. This is the second one. It's okay. a rafting game. There's also one. It's called Rally Ball. It's kind of like a dodgeball. Right. And then there's another one where you're actually it's like a movable obstacle course. Now this would be. Uh, Applicable, I would think, for like a, a nursing home or something for the elderly. Uh, yeah, I could do this in the wheelchair, right? You mean your home, D, right? My home, yes. <laughs> oh! At my house, for the old folks like me, this would be applicable for that. Sure. Similar to what the Wii was. Right? Sure, yeah. If, if you're mobile, then uh, you can get up and do things. There are games where you don't have to stand up. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Okay. You need to start, guys, because we're oh. rapidly running out of time. Jump to start. And then the raft starts, Stop and then if, okay. if, if we want to move to the left, then we have to sidestep, and you see a sidestep. Well, where did there. I go? I'm on. You come back to the right. You fell in the right. You're drowning yeah. right now. Where, no. There you go. I, I can see this is going to take a lot more oh. practice. So how about well, <laughs> they practice and we come back a little bit later? Yeah, this is good. Do I jump again? I, I wouldn't do that, do you? I think I lost some weight. <laughs>